You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales in the beautiful by nature Texas and Caicos Islands. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. I'm Iberly Abreu and thanks for watching Sun TV News Alert. Sonia Biennami scored a sensational goal for the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Caribbean region and women around the world last Friday, when she was co-opted to be among the first women to serve on the FIFA Executive Committee. Sonia, who is the Secretary General of the Turks and Caicos Islands Football Association, made history with her elevation to the highest office of the most powerful body in football. Although she lost in the nomination, Sonia has commanded so much respect among FIFA executives that they decided to honor her with the opportunity to serve on the executive committee for at least one year. Sonia received a hero's welcome when she arrived back in the Turks and Caicos Island on Sunday night along with Oliver Smith who was elected to FIFA's appeals committee. Here's what the very humble Sonia had to say about her elevation to the high office. Just to wrap it up in a nutshell, I would say that um, I stood for the election. It was an election for a female member to serve on the FIFA Expo for 16 for four years. Last year, the CAF member, Lydia, who's from Africa, was co-opted same way I, would, um, I am now. She was co-opted in position for a year. Uh, this year, FIFA held its first ever election for a female member to serve on that board, and a female member hasn't served on the FIFA Expo for more than a hundred years. Wow. So, even though I haven't won by votes, you cannot imagine how important it is, how, what this means to be co-opted to the people of Mexico. It is just not an ordinary gift. Um, it, it is something very special, something people have been working within the football arena for hundreds of years to aspire to, and some may never see it. So for me coming from the Turks and Caicos Islands, the little old Turks and Caicos Islands, to be recognized, first of all, by CONCACAF, to be nominated in, in the CONCACAF region, and we have the USA's, the Mexico's, the Canada, we have a lot of women, very qualified, very experienced women in football within the CONCACAF Confederation who I, I believe was just as worthy of the nomination as I am. So to be chosen and nominated by my confederation, first of all, to serve, it was an honor in itself. And winning the election meant nothing to me because it already raised the profile for yes. women's football in the Caribbean by just being nominated, period, for that position. And then after the elections, I think I came out the winner. I didn't win by votes. But for the mere fact that I was co-opted by the FIFA Exco to this committee to serve for a year, I am indeed a winner because I am not sure if anybody else from the Caribbean would ever see this again. So it means I think I think Sony has been been modest and modest. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if being around Sony here in Turks and Caicos, you don't realize the, the high regard she's held in when you go on the CONCACAF conferences, I mean, even FIFA conferences, you realize how she's highly held, high regard, and world football governance, governing body, people who are president of CONCACAF, president of the other UEFA and other associations. We have a men and women's foot, um, football league. We are one of the only countries within this region that have a men and women's street soccer league. We have a very vibrant youth development program with more than 400, 500 children playing soccer. So what I'm saying to you, this I'm sure, um, in terms of internationally or within the region, will bring a lot of attention to us. Among those who were at the Providencialis International Airport to welcome Sonia were acting Premier Akira Mesek and opposition leader Charlene Cartwright Robinson. They were full of praise for Sonia. It's just an honor that we have our own local people, our own residents in the Turks and Caicos Islands who are flying the flag for the Turks and Caicos Islands on the international stage. Do you understand how important this is? Yes. Football, soccer, whatever you want to call it around the world is the world's largest sport. And to know that our little country 
in the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, whatever region you want to call it, is on this executive body, will represent us for a year, or on the appeal body, and will take us forward as we move and uh, moving football, soccer forward, as well as all the other sports. So as a Minister of Sports, it's an honor and privilege to be here to welcome the three of you home this evening. Thank you. Very, very proud of her to see where she has um, come to in terms of running football. We call it soccer, so forgive me if I say that. And Turks and Caicos, and it's a very, very important achievement, as the Deputy Premier has said, for sports and for the Turks and Caicos. I want to congratulate you, Sunzi, and of course, you know, I am certainly celebrating women and, and the role that you are now. And it shows that women are coming up in different areas of society where we can rightfully be placed. Oliver, I'm not going to miss you, Mr. Sharpshooter in the court. We see you are sharpshooter somewhere else. So I say congratulations to both of you. I say congratulations to the FIFA community here in Turks and Caicos. I believe this is certainly going to be an inspiration for players. I have a six and an eight-year-old daughter, and the only sport they play is football, a.k.a. soccer. All right. So I am sure they will be excited to know when they get older that this started, when they started, and I am pretty sure that they will remain committed because you will inspire them, I'm sure. So thank you, congratulations again. Yeah. President of the TCI Football Association, Christopher Bryan, who was also at the welcome reception, said that a massive community effort was also responsible for Sonia's success at FIFA. Also behind them is a, is a massive community effort, especially in the Turks and Caicos. It's, not, it's right across the board. And with the support of everybody in the islands, this is just the start, you know, we can, we can go even further, we're just, we, you know, we, we are really an infant, you know, we, we've, got to, we've got to grow up, you know, we're growing up really, really quickly, so it's a hell of a lot of promise and there's more to come, so thank you very much. Jamaican attorney Oliver Smith, who is a resident of the Turks and Caicos Islands, said that Sonia is held in a very high regard in football all over the world. He described her as a trail blazer who is destined to go further in the world of football. She's a stalwart, she's a trailblazer, and yes, she's been modest, but she is a force to be reckoned with in the in, in World Football Organization. And the fact that they co-opted her it speaks volumes to that. And um, here, here we say congratulations, but uh, she's going to go further. And I, and I wouldn't put it past her with her putting on work at some point in time to be active, be the head of the whole organization. She's held, I say, in very, very high regard, and we should be very proud of the work she's doing. Well, I do serve on a number of very important um, committees, and within I'll, I'll start off. Well, first of all, um, if we want to start from the beginning, well, like my president said, that there has been a lot of hard work right here in Turks and Caicos, and I'm not going to let Chris, my president, or Paul Flannery, our vice president, get off the hook tonight. I know they are very modest as well. But, and I say continuously, if it wasn't for my exec team, I wouldn't be standing in front of all of you tonight. I'm April Leabru, and thanks for watching Sun TV News. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you real news as it happens, directly to your computer or mobile device.